Bear here. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about adding PokerStars tournament rebuys and add-ons. Now, the main reason why we're doing this is basically PokerStars does not automatically save detailed information on rebuys and add-ons uh, you've made in tournaments. So basically, you have to go get the data from PokerStars. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Really simple process, and then you can batter it into your ShotScope desktop uh, tournament database, and actually you've got a much more complete picture of how you've been doing in uh, all those type of tournaments. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like a before and after. So here we go. We've got one game here that I'm going to use as the example here. It basically ends in 710. It's PokerStars event 30th of August back in 2015. And it's a $3 rebuy. Now on the right hand side you can see that that actual tournament as it stands before I get the data from Stars with regards to my rebuys etc. That I'm minus $8.47 on that. So just take a note of that, remember that, that's what that event cost me before I get the data from PokerStars with regards to the rebuys, okay? So I'm going to show you what to do in a second here, and then I'm going to show you, after I've uploaded it, how it changes that data, okay? One wee second. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring up our PokerStars account. Here we go, we go to PokerStars here. I'm sitting in the Zoom section here, but on the right-hand side, you see all your options here. We're going to pick uh, Tools. Click that for you there. Now, obviously, if that's shrunk, you want the history and stats one. So click that down there. You want the playing audit history. And obviously, you can select the start date you want. So in this one, stars will only let me go back to 2015. So we'll just go right back to the very beginning. And we'll roll it all the way up to today's date, which is Feb the 13th. Um, it basically says a link will be emailed to validate your PokerStars email address where you can download your playing history audit file. It tells you all here. So obviously we need a password. So let's put a wee password in here. And then it'll ask me to confirm it for me. So that's me done my password here. Uh, so you can see what I've done here. We've got include the stars view by columns in my report. Nothing wrong with that. Very importantly though, on the bottom here, you've got three options. Make sure you select the text CSV option. That's what I've done there just now. And that's the report you want it to come out in, in that format. Now I'm just going to hit submit, and it says you attempt to use the account password to protect the zip file for the security of your account. You must choose a different password. Ooh, there you go. So we'll change that, and we'll go, and we'll try again. So you can't use your same password. There you go. I didn't know that. That's sneaky. We'll just try a different one here. And please enter your PokerStars login password to confirm your request. That's me just done that, and we get a wee message. We've received your request and are preparing your report. Depending on the size of the report and delivery, it may take several minutes. So we'll just wait and see how long that takes. Hit OK, and we'll just wait. Now, whilst that's churning away, we think to point out to yourself is it really all depends on your volume. You can do this every week, every month. It's really up to yourself here. But bearing in mind, it's only let me go back a year here. You probably want to do that maybe once a month just to keep your database pretty fresh. But in the end, it's up to you. So we've got a file here. I'll bring it up for you just now so you can see it. It took about four minutes. Now, one wee piece of advice on this front. If the file's too big, you may get an error message from PokerStars saying reduce her, the, the, the length time. So in this case, I actually reduced mine to April because from January, it was just too much. So you can do it in chunks if you want. So just a wee tip there to share with you, okay? So I'll bring up the email so you can see this. One wee second. That's the email I got from Stars, okay, and it tells you you'll need to obviously unzip it, and it gives you actually a couple of useful links there, as you can see, uh, to WinZip and 7-Zip to use. You've got the link there, so all you do is click that, that'll download it very quickly, the actual file. I've got the file here, so I'll bring that up for you so you can see it. There you go, I'm just using WinRAR trial version of that, I'll shrink that up there. So all I need to do is click that now, it's going to ask me when I double click this to use my password when we second here. So there you go, and that's the box that pops up. So all you do is type in the password that you put in, obviously, in stars like I showed you beforehand. So we'll just do that. Just get this to work here for you. Remember my password here. And here we go, it comes up with Excel like that, and there you go, there's all the data in question. Now, what I need to do next is save this to a section of my hard drive. So I've just created a wee folder here called PokerStars Audit History. And what I've done is just basically put the date on the actual file of what I've saved, just so I've got a wee record of that. Good thing is on the file, though, it is actually um, dated 
of what sections you've done, you know, as in like vines from April 2015 up to the present day. So that's actually on the file when you open it up anyway, so that's useful to know. So the next thing I need to do now is go back to my short stop section here, which is what I'm doing. And from your short stop desktop, pick File, top left here. And you can see here, it's got Add Pokestars Tournament Audit. Click on that, and it asks me to browse. So I'm going to browse this. I've actually saved that. Uh, here we go, one wee second. Here we go, I've got it actually here. So I'm going to click on this, okay. Hit Open. And that's importing it. And look how quick that is. Pokestars mod uh, Tournament's modified. There you go. It's not actually modified six again. Volume's not huge for me, so hit OK to that, and that's it all done. As simple as that, and uh, your add-on details have been added basically to your tournament database. Can't get easier than that, can you? You can see how speedy that was. Now, obviously, the bigger the file, the smaller chunks you're going to have to select uh, when you actually ask for the information from stars. So let's look at the results of what's happened to our little tournament that we we're talking about. So obviously, we go to play statistics, search ourselves out. And then obviously look for the game in question, which I've obviously done already. Scrolling down there is yellow highlighted for you. <clears throat> and bring it across. And there you go. That's what it was beforehand at 847. Just to refresh your memory. I did a well out when I flick the screen here and do the update. There you go. You can see my uh, profit there is minus $9.30. So obviously that's just one little event there. When you've got loads of rebuys and obviously you'll see a significant difference on all your data at the top when you search yourself out here at the top of the chart. So there you go, people. It's as simple as that, really easy. And that will enable you to refresh your database, especially when obviously it comes to the rebuys, etc., to give you a much more accurate picture or of your profit ratings, basically. On that note, people, hope that's pretty simple for you. Any questions or queries, by all means, give the Shotscope team a shout. They're more than happy to help. And don't forget, people, you can get all the relevant information on the ShotScope desktop user guide. All you need to do is scroll down here. I'll do that for you whilst we're talking here. And under Advanced Features, there you go. Adding Pokestars, tournaments, and rebuys and add-ons. You click on that. There you go. Up it pops, and it gives you a very quick walkthrough on how to do it. So you've got that on top of this video to help you out. So on that note, people, enjoy, and good luck at the tables. Bye now.